Hey guys, it's Tyler with Fire Savers. Today I'm going to be showing you how to take out and replace the electronics in your Fire Saber. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just go ahead and pop these screws out. Go ahead and set those somewhere safe for later. And then you've got one in the back right here. Let's go ahead and break that one loose. Okay. Now we're just going to unscrew the handle. And just very carefully pull that off. Set that aside. Now, the only other thing that you need to do is you're going to want to push this down just a little bit to here and here. If you just really carefully work that in there, you can use the tip of a pencil or a screwdriver. You just want to use something gentle. Here we go. I'm just kind of pushing it just enough into there so that it'll slide out. Still doesn't want to quite come, so we'll just give it a little bit more. There we go. Now that should slide right out. Okay. So you grab your box with your new electronics and what I like to do is just kind of prep it a little bit if you start your screw just a little bit you can pull this out There you go. So it's important to kind of pull the buttons up to the surface, but you don't want too far, otherwise it won't go in. So just pull it up just enough, and once you got that done, you can go ahead and stick it in, get it lined up. And put this back in. Now if your screws don't want to start in these holes right here, then you might have to pull it back out and try that trick I just showed you where you pull it out just a little bit. Because sometimes if these are pushed in too far, you're not going to have enough threads to grab onto. So I just kind of go back and forth. And what you're going to notice is that the buttons will start to kind of pull up towards the surface. Just like that. And you really don't need to over tighten these. Just get them snug. There we go. Okay. And then we'll take this little guy and put him in the back. This one especially, you really don't want tight. Just get it snug. Okay. And then you can put your handle back on. And that's all there is to it. You are good to go. The way they designed this, I'll show you kind of what the internals look like without the lid on it. So when you're pulling 
when you're tightening down those screws, what you're actually doing right here is you're drilling this up and through there like that. And that's all there is to it. Thanks.